you know, if, if someone comes in and they're just like a dog of a brand, not a pup socks, but like a the, like, how do you know when like when you're gonna take a client on? Like, what gets you excited about about a client specifically? Okay, great question. So this is actually a question I get asked a lot from a lot of people, and it's mainly around like, what am I interested in? And it's I'm interested in a couple of different areas. So first, I'll talk to you about what are the requirements of someone to kind of be taken on a common thread. Um, proven funnel. Uh, we we definitely enjoy brands that understand who the who their customers are, right? Because what what we really focus on is speaking to specific personas within your whole brand. Because you have different reasons why different people like who you are. Okay. So if you as a brand come in and go, we know consumer A, B, and C are our guy. Okay. We'll we'll take those understandings and start building out specific formulas or funnels all the way through, speaking to them, communicating to them. But at the end of the day, they're still buying the same products, right? That's the beauty of Facebook is you understand you can use it as a tool to determine specific personas within one brand. So we'd like to have somebody with an idea already coming into us, willing to be able to spend to understand that they need to buy that data. There's no easy way of doing it, right? If everything lines up, you get a pup socks where they come into a, a, a massive return in a short period of time. But for a lot of the other brands, we sit there, we ideate back and forth and try to get to them and try to get them to understand that there's time that we need to spend to develop who your ideal customer is or else we're just spending money without any processes and that's not what we want to do. Do they need to have Facebook data built up ahead of time? It makes it easier. It really does. It'll, it'll focus the spend. If I, That's the easiest way I can put it because there are going to be dollars in testing product and testing audiences. You're always going to have some wasted spend. Again, I don't call it waste. I call it buying the data because you learn not to put more money there. Yeah. Um, but it does make it a lot easier. If you're already in an existing funnel with something built out, or if you just have a firm stance in who you are as a brand and understand, okay, I know who we are. I'm going to spend till we get to what we need to do. I wanted to ask a little specifically with pup socks in mind. You don't have to give me their strategy or anything, yeah, but what, what would be some of the, the remarketing and frequency based tactics that you would advise for a company like, like pup socks that had this huge, huge win did you did they for instance come back with a Father's Day campaign to be like, hey, get your dad on a pair, get 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 your grandkid on a pair of socks or something like? What's an actual strategy that you might employ for a company like Pup Socks, which is like a novelty type product, as right. to like when to remarket to them? It's a great question because when when you say win back campaign or frequency retention or any of these fancy words to just saying reoffering mm -hmm. your product to them, it's just a matter of uh, offer rotation. So understanding where your brand is. So a brand you said like Pup Socks. They need to take advantage of holiday time, right? So as soon as that campaign was over, it was right into Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day into Mother's Day, Mother's Day into Father's, Fourth of July, back to school, right? Like you see where I'm going with this? So as soon yeah, as yeah. we understand that that list is so large that we just need to reframe like, hey, you already bought from us. We already have your images. Guess what? Um, how about, how would you like this product? Um, whether it's a mug, whether it's a similar product like that, like, reframing the offer to those that have already purchased from you. One thing that you don't know about is as soon as we realized how successful Pup Socks was, we actually made facesocks.com. So facesocks.com was a second website that we just turned in, and now Facesocks is unbelievably, unbelievably pushing past on a year-round basis than where Pup Socks was. It's interesting. We didn't know this at the time, but now having human faces on everything, we can really frame around boyfriend, girlfriend. We can really frame around um, anniversary weddings, right? That's right. Year round. I would have thought. I thought people like dogs more than they like people, but I guess not. That's uh, that's good to know. There's there's hope for us yet. Yes, there is. People still like humans. That's uh, that's awesome. Okay, so so that would be a strategy for them to bring them back there. What are you but, currently like? What are you currently most fired up about in your job? Like, what are you? What like what what aspect of marketing and and e-commerce are you most fired up about right now? Wow. That was such a good question. 